Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It's truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for, for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And if you feel like the videos, just give you a good vibe or insight you truly need to give a thumbs up and share will be greatly appreciated um and sending much love light protection and whatever you're needing into your life to, you know just be able to get through today you know or even the rest of the week i'm sending that towards your way and i was like anybody who's negative or coming in to be nosy or whatever seeing what you can distract and destroy or whatever kind of nefarious type of vibes you're trying to project on me everything is protected so whatever you're doing is getting sent back to you is that 10 million times fold Anyways, the video that I'm about to do today is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Ocas, when you um, when you have a deeper understanding of being stuck or temporarily bound to toxic vibes, soul ties, and codependency, um, there will be these different things like you know it can really work on the nerves when you got to deal with uh, different vibrations that are really challenging, you know, toxic, aggravating, and make you want to run for the hills. And there'll be different times where it can be like pure torture when you're going through these different things especially when it, it's like when it's a narcissistic relationship and it, you know it can get very br brutal when you're going through different things it could be you know physical uh verbal emotional mental you know uh essay you know those different things and it, it can really put you in a traumatic vibration and it'll be different times you're trying to understand oh god you know i'm trying to do everything i possibly can why can i get rid of this vibration why can i get uh, this monger you know wh why do i got to deal with this person why do i got to keep dealing with this it's like you know be ready to run and all those different things but it'll be like you know it'll be just like national lampoons you, you keep on going every direction you go is going to lead you right back to that daggone eyesore you know be different different things it'll, it'll be just like when my situation i'm ready to haul ass and be away from certain people because it's just like you're doing too much you know i like my life to be at peace but then it was just like rosin you got to understand a lot of times when you are being at one it is place for you know a, a, a example of transformation where people feel like you can go through the drastic things and you, you know your life can never get better from that or they feel like my life will never you know be getting you know never will come become better but if it's that that point where you really you really are serious about that it will be different times you're gonna have to go through changes where universe you know i'll be getting you know, I, I would get mad because it's just like if i'm doing the work and this and this and that why do i got to keep going through this mess with these people why do i got to keep you know dealing with stuff like that you know really pissing me off you know keep making me deal with folks like that when i'm tired it's gonna you know get me locked up i ain't got time but it'll be different things where i can look at my situation and really truly be appreciative of it because there'll be different things in my life where I see my toxicity, my drastic uh, situations, the, you know, toxic attachments, even my addictions. It was really therapeutic for me because these are the things where I went cold turkey without smoking cigarettes. I haven't had cigarettes for like about three months now. And it will be different times where even when I used to smoke herb like that, I mean, when I say I was running through it because I wanted to numb myself. Now, there's no judgment towards anybody who like to do that. You know, it's, I'd say to each its own, I just can't do it anymore it'd be different times where you know people like rise you know um uh when do you feel like it's time for me to stop smoking i said when you ask that question because even when you perch your mouth up to ask that question that's where god and universe saying it's time to stop because it's like with my situation i was dealing with so much at one time and god know i'm a ticking time bomb i was about that life i'll be the cleaner i'll be you know uh uh what was it equalizer we can do that you know be those different things where i had no problem with smiling in my mugshot saying this is the this is the best side can you get this one you know it would have been that about that life so no we're gonna give you some chill <laughs> we're gonna give you some f at all we're gonna give you this herb because we already know what we about to leash on you this truth it might cause you to want to be dropping a couple bodies so it would be those different things where i had to really numb myself going through trauma like i did because my situation really you know i'm going through nervous breakdowns and really you know trying to sink in this is what took place in my life this is what happened this cannot be real this don't feel real even at times while i still go through this i, I feel detached from this life and I know that's because things are changing where things you know, I'm seeing the illusions where it is and I can see where the situation as well as people are distractions in my life that I can really use as fuel to become better you know and those are the different things that 
you may see on different um, uh, platforms where you say empaths is the narcissist's wor worst nightmare. You really truly are. And narcissist is our worst nightmare. It truly are because these are the different things where it can show you. See how this is a walking tragedy? <laughs> you know, you probably had little traits so you are a walking tragedy too. But you're, you're, you're seeing what this mem this mirror is where these situations is like you know why do I keep attracting people like this because you're mirroring different things into your life that need your attention you know you were that one that you are not going to be an average person that's going to be sitting here and just being because there's some people when they hit a certain pinnacle they good they don't want to be they don't want to you know they don't want to put no extra work to be able to grow and be different people where you know hey I, I want to be what else can I do you know I want to be able to adventure into this what else can I do and you were that one they picked that you're going to be a prime example of showing I can go through this. I don't have to allow myself because some people will use their their situation because they want people to uh, be okay with how they're they're projecting, you know, their their situation, or, you know, their their wounds and stuff on people and people. Oh well, you know, they're going through stuff, but you're accepting that. That's what you're telling me, you, you know. And I used to be that, you know, I really used to be that because it was just like if I knew then what I knew now. Oh, you, you showed me too much. I got to go. It's like now, I'm, you know, I used to be comfortable with catching red flags. I would collect them a lot. But now it's just at that point when I see the red flag, that's when I'm out. I'm not even going to give it a second guess. I'm going to honor my gut. I'm going to honor my intuit, intuitive and intuition and haul butt, you know. And those are the different things that I can really say I appreciate it. You know, it'll be different times where, you know, I, like I said here as well as, you know, tell my ex, I'm glad you are a blessing in disguise because mm -mm. <laughs> never, ever, 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 ever do something like that again. Pick somebody like that again. But I needed that into my life because it showed me where I didn't love myself. I didn't know my worth. I allowed myself to constantly be manipulated. I was weak minded all those different things and I had to be that strong one you know be different times where I've seen the stuff that I've gone through and didn't know how I was I was able to overcome how was I be able to do that because we so many different things I didn't see where it was coming from and it was blessings from God you know ancestors you know different spirits and energies and entities that I didn't know it was protecting me this whole time and being able to see how far I come even though I'm, I'm not exactly where I want to be at but don't mean that's going to be my permanent duty station I said I claim that I don't care what folks say what they do I know my life is getting better you know because it would be just different things where I used to fear on saying certain things well you know because people are going to be looking and trying to see what they can block or whatever and it was at that mindset I created that reality for me and then I said nah well, you know you ain't letting the left hand know real G's move in silence. I had to learn, allow myself to know whatever changes, whatever, any moves I'm making, you keep that to yourself. You don't got to announce it. I always tell people, keep your transitions to yourself. Especially if you've been ready to meet your daggone twin flame. Do not tell no one. You know, it, it can even be your best friend. Don't tell no one. Because it'll be that you could be able to meet your twin flame tomorrow. And just will be a situation. It can even be a total stranger. You can be up on, you know, it could be on one of those like, uh, uh, like Facebook groups or whatever about twin flame you're like oh I'm about to meet my twin flame today you never want to tell nobody that that is something sacred that you are not supposed to talk about because it could be somebody that's really having issues with their twin flame or they're just ready to be meet their twin flame and they have that they'll put that on you like uh -uh, they ain't gonna meet them and then you wonder why you know you, you know your twin flame ghosts you because you put that out there into the universe because they always have some kind of negative vibration they don't want to see nobody happy you don't even have to be they didn't even have to know you and they already made sure that was blocked and it'll be different situations where I'm, I appreciate those different things it'll be different times I went through you know different changes in my life or I was able to do different things I was really proud of and I wanted to place it here and share and I seen how many vibrations where things fell through or it didn't work out or it different people are trying to block things because they felt some type of way or they didn't want certain things to come out and it was just like you have to be able to keep your mouth shut even even if you're a platform content creator there'll be certain things where you just really have to keep to yourself not everybody needs to know everything that you got going on you know I only tell people what I want them to know you know if they I know there are certain things where I can know it can help myself by talking about it or help others yeah sure I'm gonna talk about it but other different things that I know is highly detrimental and I already know there would be prying eyes that's trying to watch everything I do so they can see how they can food bar something else up for me I, I keep it to myself and that's why a lot of people get mad you know because they don't know where to attack I tell people it's smart to do because people can't attack what they can't see they can't stop what they can't see 
you know, I said, I'll be focused on me, you know, while other people are focused on me. And I had to be able to do that. But it was like, I used them as that leverage for me to be able to say, you know what, if I want different things in my life, I need to be able to switch up. But I'm using these these situations with the mistakes with these people are surrounding me or different people that I, I, I welcomed in where I needed to change into my life that would be truly beneficial. So you are being that person they're using as that prime example because you can go through the worst of the worst and not know that something so tragic can transform to something so beautiful. It brings out something in you. And a lot of times it's like we end up building ourselves in a person we never thought we could be. You know, there'll be it'll be a different thing where, oh, okay, maybe you want to go to law school, and then it just so happened, you know, um, you could been on campus or something like that. For a prime example, God forbid, if ever it happened or it did, you know, and next thing you know, you are assaulted, you know, and something like that, and then it made you conscious, like you didn't want to be, you know, people from a situation like that, people get agoraphobic or they don't let people in because they don't have trust issues. They you know, they don't have sex or anything like that because they'll bring up all those different things and you don't realize just from that tragic situation, it somewhere down the line with your healing. You know, being able to start allowing people to trust again, you know, being selective about the things that you did, you know, things that you do on routine, you know, especially with those situations. Um uh, you, you had to really change, you know, it would be different. I forgot what channel I was watching. I think it was Twisted Minds. I think that's what it was. When I say it almost had me a major trigger, it's like, you know, with us being empaths, you, we can't stand injustice. We don't like bullies. We don't deal with stuff like that. And it was this one guy. I was just like, I need to take a trip to UK for what he did to this girl. And it would be different things where when they were talking about, you know, his parents got divorced and stuff like that and his mom abandoned him. So I was like, oh, shoot, he, he got abandonment issues, got, you know, you know, uh, you going through this, and then you gonna make every woman pay for the different stuff. Like they spilling all over. Everybody didn't even cut you. Got an issue. I, I know personally from what I got to deal with, or with other people that got money, mommy issues as well as myself. You know, and I had to be able to deal with that. But when I tell you, I really was ready to leap out on this day. I forgot what that dude's name was. It's something Trent, Trent, uh, Sampson or whatever that dude name is. But I'll tell you, I wanted to go and take a trip. You know, and then it was just at that point where I can't stand when people are willing to annihilate somebody, take somebody's life out, and then you want to all of a sudden you want to plead insanity when your 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 stupid sit on sit up here and you plan that mess because the girl didn't want to be with you no more. You know, you couldn't go out with your friends. Like, are you gonna talk to any guys? We're in a bar. I, I, I'm being faithful to you. Why are you worried about that? Why are you bleeding on me? Your insecurities. You know, and it was just like really crazy because I knew I heard the story before. The story before I think it was like in 2014, where you know the girl was leaving the gym. You know, she didn't put restraining orders. She don't block them off at every site. You know, police don't call and threaten them. You know, and he was like, "Well, we don't want to have to bring you down to the station, now, do we?" He said, "Oh, but would you?" And, you know, I mean, he was there. He was challenging the cops like this. You have you got some big gonads when you sit up here, you know, threatening cops like we, you don't want us to come get you. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm not finished yet then you can come get me he ended up you know using her as a human pin cushion he sat right there on the car he didn't throw the rock and hide the hand he he went ahead and threw that whole brick and he sat waiting on oh you looking for me i can't she's over here Home, human shish kebab and i was just like this dude i really wanted to go ahead and beat him face to face i said no i'll be that one woman i i, I i'll fight you you know i will end you and I, that was the different things where i was just seeing and how bad this was and it's just like I can't stand it when people are so quick to want to end somebody's life over something that you have in 40 you know inferior issues but you got insecurity issues and you want to take somebody's life but you out here doing all the stuff that you doing you know you, you don't want that done to you but you want to do it to somebody else and all of a sudden you want to plead insanity or you, you know you got mental issues when you can plan and calculate that stuff out there ain't nothing wrong with you you just just strike the minute you know it'll be different things that I see that and it allowed me to say I'm fortunate even though I have bounties over my head I, I you know I get followed every day on where you know my business is everybody else's business and junk like that but then I had to really understand God protected me 
through these different situations. He ain't going to allow nothing to happen to me if it wasn't meant to. And if it has contact with me with something I had to learn from or certain things that just really needed my attention. And going through things like that, I really felt for her. But I felt, you know, it's scary, you know, because I don't have family that I can lean on. I don't have family that I can that support me in that way unless they crossed over, you know, different things like that. And that left me in a vulnerable point where I, I can't even trust the people I live in the house with. You know, you really put me in danger like that. And it would be really, it will be really scary. But it will be on that point where, you know, universe and God say you live. You know, you are always protected. There's nothing going to happen to you unless it's, it's supposed to happen. And this ain't your time, you know. But it will be different things like that where, you know, situations like that happen every day. You know, and we're wondering, you know, these are the different things we have to learn from. It will be just those times where we can wake up and thank God every day. But we really also have to thank God of what he protected us from. What didn't happen, what we don't know didn't happen. You don't know how many times. It will be a different time where I was talking to people. You know, I was like, I was so mad. I couldn't find my keys today. And, you know, I had to go to work. You know, I had to take, you know, Bobby to daycare. And I had to be able to drop off the lunch that my daughter, you know, Sally, I left. I got to drop that off at school and got too much stuff to do. And next, you know, I dropped my keys and stuff like that and find out the way you had to go it was a major accident you know it'll be different stuff like that where wow you know if I would have been if I would have knew exactly where my keys were you know I could have been in this pile up or whatever you know that's going on or you know if I didn't go through this negative connection with other people it will really know what what part of myself that really needed that strengthening because all we are is mirroring out to different things when it comes to people on every person we meet is a lesson a blessing and a reason for a season they're showing us what we need to really be heavy on or what things we needed to break away from or you know seeing the different paths that people take it, it can be a negative experience or it can be a very uh, toxic experience or it can be a, a, a really big beautiful one and you, you're connecting with that, you know, I, I'm seeing different things where I see, okay, this is where it can wind out if I don't allow myself to heal. It can dig me, you know, further down the rabbit hole where I see that there are people who are doing that because it'll be at a point where I would start feeling sorry for certain people where I see that they're, they're really in pain and they just refuse to heal. And I see how it's destroying their life. But then it was just like, pull your heart back. You know, you have to be understanding. They put their stuff there, you know. And there'll be a lot of people that just refuse to heal. They really refuse to heal because they don't want, you know, it'd be different people that don't want to hold themselves accountable. There's different people that want to, they rather play victim and not want to be honest about the different things they played major parts in. They can be switched up. It would be somebody else is the victim. And you're the whole daggone culprit, you know, or, or, you know, different things where you see you're you're not healing and you're, you're, you're bleeding on somebody that didn't even cut you, you know, and you you see those different things where you're making those choices to where okay I went through abusive relationships and I really had to go through the trenches and really transform myself you know had to be very selective about what I entertain got to be very selective about who I decide to date sleep with all these different things what do I really want in life that's really going to create something bigger and better what did I have to be able to be cautious of it's like now it's just like from this situation I went through with you know my, my mom's ex-husband and family and even with my ex it really brought some trauma into my life you know but it allowed me to be very cautious about different things because like I tell people real quick I got trust issues because I feel like if family and exes and stuff that can do that to you at a drop of a dime strangers ain't, ain't gonna make it any different but it allowed me to know you know people you don't know who you who you laying down with you don't know what you growing up with you know be a lot of times you don't know somebody for 50 years next thing you know you popped out you know it'd be your next day next door neighbor for 50 years next thing you know he got bodies all at the bottom of their house and like i knew bob i didn't know he was like that we, you know we then we make you sick because we had barbecues and stuff like that don't even know if you know he trying to bring up a you know you, you eating somebody you know different stuff like that and you really don't know people even you've known for many years and really don't know you know, and there'll be different times where it's like I'm going through so many different changes and so many veils are being taken off when I can see certain people that are very toxic in my life as well as myself. I was really able to really see it. And I was just like, this is what this was this whole time. Yeah. You know, you were living through illusions. You were living to feel like you can't get anything better than that. You're feeling like this is what your worth is. And a lot of times we can be, I deserve this, I deserve that, I deserve this. And then when it takes that, you really be going through the different hardcore work about it. Well, quickly, you know, uh, self-sabotage. 
ourselves and it's like why did I do that it's just because the fact is you even though your mind is telling you you deserve that but somewhere in your heart you don't feel like you're deserving of that or it can be you're actually in a good relationship where this person really make your heart stick but all of a sudden when you still have low self-esteem issues and you got abandonment issues or neglect you're going to automatically think that person's going to hurt me that person's going to abandon me you know so I got to bring an extra person and I got to hurt that person I got to go sleep around with this person I got to go be with that one because I'm scared to attach myself like that because I know long time out of the way this person's going to abandon me so you end up seeing all these toxic relationships is taking place where you see people that got 13 14 different men around or you get you see it with men you know men with with different females or you know whatever they choose you know their interest in because they they don't allow people to get close with them because they automatically feel like I'm not worthy of that that person's going to abandon me that person's going to hurt me that person's going to leave me you know I've gone through different things like that you know I learned about my you know my father went through the same thing too you know so we've gone through different things like that because I had a dude mentality when I was growing up because I, I used to think everything was with solving is having sex you know I was always like that all my problems can result to being in solutions from having sex and it used to be like that. Now, oh, I heck to the null. You see where energies can come. You can see where it can mess up your pH balance. You can see where you can get some stuff that you, you know, you, some things you can't get rid of. You know, there's too many different things out here, you know. Uh, and it's just like when I be seeing somebody, I'm like, oh, my God, you're like a Nick Cannon without no money. You know, you're just doing this. you popping out all these daggone babies or you making demoncies. What are you doing? You know, these different things in your life. And you're setting that example is where you can show people if you're really ready to get dirty you know you really get your you gonna get your hands dirty when you really want something good in life you know you won't have to go to that time you know be different friends that I grew up with and you know I started on this journey they were like Rosalind I want to date you know I want to do this you know because they may see their ex you know dating and stuff like that will make them feel like you're in a I said why are you you're not in a race with that person you know, I used to have to tell my kids that too. Like, oh my God, he's dating this and this and that. Or, you know, so I got to date somebody. I said, no, you don't. This is it's like, this is your grieving process. And that's where a lot of issues came in. Even I did that. To where I went into one late relationship and jumped into another one because I wanted to get over that one. And you add more bodies to yourself and you still end up running into the same toxic situation because you didn't allow yourself to heal from the last situation. You're bringing that baggage all the way back. Because it'll be the same situation except that'll be the same demon, different faces. You know, and I tell people you got to go through that grieving process because a friend of mine uh, at one time, you know, I went to school with and she was telling me, you know, hey, you know, I met this guy online, you know, he was really attractive and stuff like that. And, you know, um, the next thing you know, I found out he got about three or, other, three or four different women, you know, around the city that he's talking to. And I was just like, and I asked her, I said, have you fully, you know, because she was going through a separation with her husband. And I was like, have you gone through, you know, a full, you know, divorce shit is everything final. And she was like, you think I should, and it's not about the fact that you, you know, you, you, you know, you do what you want to do. If you want to be, you know, stepping out on your marriage, you do that. You know, I don't, I don't judge nobody. You do what you want to do. I don't think it's good, but you know, hey, you don't teach your song, you know, but it was just like, did you allow yourself to be, and she was like, well, you think I shouldn't be dating because I'm not, uh, finished being all the way divorced. I said, no, that's not what I'm saying. Have you fully healed? Because you told me this was toxic. Did you fully heal from all these different things? that you went through with this dude did you I mean you fairly let it go you're allowing yourself to see things you've seen the rights and the wrongs the mistakes you made that you can be able to correct the things you shouldn't do things you should do you know things you need to be paying attention to and stuff like that and she's like well no I said that's the reason it's the reason this is going to keep showing up until you allow yourself to go through that healing process of being able to do that you know because sometimes you know there'll be different times where I, I'll be wishing to heal I would have avoided a lot of people you know, to be something like, oh, my God, I wish people had side effects on the back of their behind. So I already know what I'm going to deal with. Oh, like, toxic person three meters away. Ooh, let me go this way. You know, this one, you're going to run up your credit, go put everything in your kid's name. You'll be different stuff like that where I wish they had side effects. This person going to make you lose your mind and pull out all your hair. Uh-uh. You know, be one of those different things that's going on. But it was just like, I had to be able to do that. I said, yeah, I can get lonely at times. You know, you want to curl up with somebody or whatever. But I said, I had to be at that time where I know what I want. 
you know, and I don't know if that person's gonna give it to me because I noticed that every time I jumped out of one, I didn't want to deal with that, so I jumped to another one and had the same issues time and time again. I had people that were, you know, had abandonment issues or they had mama issues or they had hoe issues and all that different stuff like that. But it was like, I can't, so why does this keep happening? Because I didn't allow myself to heal. I didn't allow myself to heal from the last situation I was in. I always felt like since that person is dating somebody, I need to pray. And but I'm seeing the safety measures about it. Even there will be kids that's popping out left and right. There will be diseases popping out left and right. There will be drama popped out left and right. I don't want that life. I've been there, done that, whatever, you know. And I had to be able to allow myself to heal because if I know I want somebody who respect me, I ain't got to worry about the communication is on point. The trust is top tier. Where support is is all out of our part I know I what I wanted because there'll be different times where I was in relationships and I had so many daddy issues and you know didn't know my worth or love myself I used to put myself in very dangerous positions so if anybody's like what you looking for in a relationship I really didn't know and I mean I was just opening myself up to be you know treated any kind of way but now when I know what I want what I expect what I don't expect what I'm not gonna deal with what am I gonna entertain you know and staying strong on that you know, I stay to myself because I know it's like the next person I'm going to be with, this is going to be my husband. This is going to be somebody that is going to love me, respect me, and everything like that. Because I dealt with somebody who was like 20-some years, and that mess was embarrassing because it took me that long to figure out stuff. And, you know, but I allowed myself to say, hey, a lot of times you got to be a remedial. You didn't learn the first 10 million times. But I said, I want somebody who knows what they got that first time. I got to keep reminding you. got to keep forgiving you because if you don't figure it out that first time, I'm gone. I'm not about to do that. I can love you, but I'm going to love you enough to let you go. I'm going to love me more than I'm going to love you by allowing myself to keep going through that. I can see what happened when I allowed people to keep doing that because they kept on saying. And I always tell people, when you cheat on somebody, it's like you're breaking a plate. Regardless if you can just glue everything back, that plate is never going to look the same. It'll be at that point where, you know... You, your trust will never be the same. You always think when that person's not in your light, even if y'all heal from that, it's going to be back in your mind are they doing something. You know, to be like that. And I had that point, you got one time to cheat on me. I'm gone. I don't care how much love I have for you, how much we don't put into this marriage, how much we don't put into this relationship, I'm gone. Because if you know you got everything you got at home and this ain't worth no much and you, you really want to test that theory on seeing what I'm going to walk out and do without blinking an eye and go, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead and do that because I've seen what I used to cater to, what I used to, you know, uh, you know, condone. And it's just like, I, I'm not dealing with that no more. When, you know, I became difficult, I became crazy, I became this, I became that. When I did not allow myself to be manipulated. I'm going to call you on your own stuff. I'm going to hold you accountable for your actions. I'm going to tell you, you are a lie. You, you want to apologize, that was a pile of lie. You know, it'll be one of those different things. And when I know I got aggressive with that, I said, I can wait. Because I see what rushing in can do with people. I, I, I look and I see that. I'm like, mm-mm, I don't want that. I'm glad, you know, I don't dodge a whole couple of bullets and say that's not for me. If that's how people want to be, you know, that is. But a lot of us are being used as that situation. Why? This is why you had to go through toxic, you know, attachments. This is the reason why you, you went through addictions of all sorts. You went through you know soul ties or you went through karmic cycles and stuff like that you know you're going through twin flame transformations and healing all these things are teaching you ultimate lessons on why you had to see things differently how you had to feel things deeply because we go through some hellish situations when we're connecting with different people there's a lot of times we lose ourselves in toxic attachments we lose ourselves or we lose everything by trying to hold on to something that you know God trying to tell apart and it'll get to that point where you know I really step back and I can appreciate everything I've gone through you know, I can be open about those different things. Yeah, I went through a lot of toxic relationships, and I also had a lot of beautiful ones, too. And I learned and appreciate all the ones that I faced because it made me a better person. And now it's just like, I mean, I'm shocked with myself because, like I said, I used to have a dude mentality. Anybody ever seen um, House on, what is it, Haunting a Hill House? I was the Theo. You know, I could be kicking it with somebody and forget about your name the next way. I'm like, oh, you know. Christian Troy type situation. Well, not that Christian Troy. I forget. Go on the net the Boy, he will help. <laughs> but I was out there. But it was at that point where I hold my body is sacred to me. You know, I see how different things can come about. And I see, you know, I, it's at that point where I got so you know sensitive. I can sniff out illness, illnesses with people. You know, I've been like that for a long time. But that mess is like 
really out there like girl you feel anything wrong with me because there was a time I'm like hey you know you having these issues like why is it noticeable I'm like no I sense things like that hey you might want to go check that out you know it'd be different things a friend come at girl I'm so glad you showed me it was like it would be something like it was something that they gave, gave that medicine to and it stopped it right there but if it would have been something else and it would have you know it would have been going on for an extended period of time. This could have really, it could have really got bad. So it was a blessing. I was able to be able to do that. And now it's like when I see that, and I'm just like, mm -mm. I'm strict on myself. I'm glad I'm staying to myself because I see what's going on right here. I don't want that. That's a gift to keep on giving. I'm good. You know, be different things like that because you're seeing out in the world where, you know, it'll be different people. And it holds anger in my heart where I hear different people. It was one. Where it was, I forgot where it was, and these women like were up in age, like this is you know this is your golden years and stuff like that, and they were dating a real attractive man, and don't didn't realize this, you know these women were like sixty, you know you no know, it was like in their seventies, and they were still dating, and come to find out this man just willingly giving HIV out to people, AIDS, and like oh I didn't have that, then this woman is like I ain't had sex in thirty years, and I mess with you, and all of a sudden I got this, you know, and he doing life in prison now, and I see where people are like that, they will get mad at the world because they had poor choices and not protecting themselves because a lot of people don't like wearing condoms you know and those different things and it's just like it can be you know I'm blessed that I ain't never had something I can get rid of that, that I mean that has to be scary you know I, I've had different people that I know that had HIV and AIDS and stuff like that and I can see what the tolls it does on people's body you know and it'll be different time people will be mad at the world because they got that because of their poor choices but then they want everybody Everybody, they you know, it'll be different people, and I said you got to be careful out here because there's a lot of people that catches this and want to be mad at the world over their poor decisions and start giving it to you, and not realizing that's attempted murder. A lot of times you can go, you, you, that's that's jail time for stuff like that, especially if you know about stuff like that, and it'll be just really crazy, you know, and different things like that. But you know, everybody, you you're going through. You, you know, when you're stuck in those situations on something very negative, very heavy, very detrimental to your mind, your body, and your soul, it's something that is really teaching you. Because a, a lot of times we get angry with God, like you see what's going on. You see that I'm doing everything I possibly can. Why do you keep, why you keep torturing me like this about being around people you know I'm trying to break, break free from in a quickness? Because there are certain things that you're teaching that person, that person's teaching you. And it's going to be beneficial. You know, and I, it's just like with my situation, I learned a lot from that. It allowed me to know it'll be like, yeah, that's an that's an ex it's an example I will never do again. And I appreciate it. And it was like I'm, I make better choices this time. It's just like I can see when I put my standards really high, and I can see what happens when I settle. So it'll be those different things where I can actually appreciate the choices that I made. So it'll allow me to not make better choices next time. So when you're going through these different things, you got to ask yourself, what is life trying to teach me? What do I need to know about myself, my better choices and relationships in all forms? And these are the life lessons that you can really, truly grow and heal from. So I hope you love this deck on Insta. You know, if, it, if you like it. And you know, you appreciate it. Please give a thumbs up. I'll leave all my contact information in the description box below. And as well as, um, you know, it's just like spiritual networking. A lot of us just, you know, connect. I love the fact that I can be able to connect with y'all on that level. You know, do one-on-ones. You know, a lot of times y'all share with me the different things you're really going through and you're really trying to understand what's going on. Or, you know, a lot of times people send me a lot of emails saying they really, truly appreciate the content that I'll come out. It makes a lot of sense on the things they're going through. But people be laughing like, girl, you have a gazillion Hayoka videos. I'm like, hey. Uh, every once in a while God will redirect me and say hey you can do a twin flame video or hey you can do a narcissist video hey you can do this you know it'll be those different things and I know I you know I'm ready to do a Love Jones uh, cipher so I was going to do that I forgot those are the new things I'm bringing up here too you know do little poems and stuff like that because I always love the movie Love Jones and I like the you know the bars when they start doing the spirit fingers you know and they be doing uh, those deep poems and stuff like that and I really like that you know it'll be something deep that you know I like to be able to dabble in or whatever but but, um, you know, uh, I like those as well. And if you go on my community section of my channel, you know, I'll leave all these different uh, posts up uh, as well as my um, podcast as well. Um, you can be able to do that. It's like the different ones with the changes that's going on and, you know, all these things. We're going through a huge upgrade right now. We're going through a lot of downloads. So there will be a lot of ideas that's coming up. Your creative sense is going to be spiking. You know, your... Uh, 
you're dealing with throat chakra issues, you have a lot of down lows that's coming in, so you might have pressure behind the eyes, as well as, you know, frequent headaches or just tingles that's going down the spine, a lot of intense spiritual chills, all these different things is going on. So you're going through a radical, you know, transformation that is really lit. <laughs> you know, so those different things. But I hope you're able to resonate with the content of the video. I would love to give a post notification shout out to uh Pro Nail uh Pro Healer and um Lamb Sauce and uh Casey Garcia. Much love to you. If you're new, please drop a line. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And as well if you feel um uh, if you feel generous enough to drop a donation to the cash app is there as well in the description box below Whatever you're needing whatever vibes you're needing to be consistent about the things that you know God and universe has urged you to do if it's consistency patience belief within self-confidence You know persistence motivation dedication. I'm sending all that to you a million times fold You got to keep going see the light and potential in you um, that others see within yourself, you know um you gonna have some enemies and the devil they see they see a lot more of your power than they want you to scared that you'll recognize so you know stay consistent and persistent because they can make you want to give up today just because they know many doors of opportunity gonna open tomorrow so you go ahead don't sleep on yourself stay woke much love to you peace shalom i say god bless and you know even through social distance give up uh love like Positive words about frequency. You never know. All those things really take somebody a long way. And just because you're helping to do a loving thing is going to take you even further. Please have a safe, responsible weekend. You'll see me on my next video. Much please.